About two days ago, Dennis Itumbi and other top Kenya Kwanza leaders were telling the country that Uhuru Kenyatta had flown to Dubai with his family and that Trail Odinga had been admitted in the hospital and yesterday they were now saying that Trail Odinga was at the coast. That's what Dennis Itumbi and some top Kenya Kwanza leaders have been saying including Rigathi Gashagwa. A few hours ago, we saw Uhuru Kenyatta in Karen, where his son's house had been raided. The same Uhuru Kenyatta, we were told, had flown to Dubai with his family. He was in Karen today, where his son's house had been raided. And Uru made it very clear that he has been all along in the country. So the question is, which Dubai is this that Uhuru was hiding in? Because that's what Dennis Itumbi and Kenya Kwanza have been spreading. In fact, even this, <laughs> this afternoon, they were still talking of Uru Kenyatta being in Dubai. I listened to Kimani Chungwa and he was making some similar remarks to that. I want us to dig deep into this for Kenyans to understand the high octane politics being played here. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's proceed. Yes. Even before we dig deep into that, a few hours ago, Professor Kithure Kindiki issued a press statement where he has confirmed that indeed it's true, is the government that carried out the raid at Uru Kenyatta Sun's home in Karen. So, it's a little bit confusing because if you look at the vehicles that carried out that raid, these are South Sudanese vehicles. So the raid was carried out by Kenyan police officers masquerading in South Sudan vehicles. Why is the government playing all these games? If indeed there is something wrong that may be Uhuru Kenyatta son did, why can't they just go in broad daylight openly instead of going in vehicles that have got fake number plates? What are they hiding, if anything? That is going to be our analysis in our subsequent videos. We are going to dig deep into that. In this video, one has to go back to Dennis Itumbi. He told us Uhuru was in Dubai, Raila had been admitted in hospital and all those. One thing that Kenyans should know, I've always maintained that we don't have a government here. We just have cooks masquerading as government leaders. And that's a fact. And I'm saying that without any fear or contradiction. <laughs> yes, without any fear of contradiction. We are dealing with criminals. Criminals, liars, and propagandists. This is a government that rules on lies. That's something coming out very, very clearly. And if you look at it deeply, or rather keenly, this is a government that is seriously panicking. They came to power on the basis of lies and propaganda. And for them to maintain their rule, they must maintain that li those lies and propaganda. That's what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen. And from what we are witnessing happening today in government, it's clear Kenyans 
are not safe. The rule of law, in fact, the constitution, it's as if the constitution has been suspended. It's now just full anarchy. And my advice to William Ruto and his team, power is temporary. We know you have all the instruments of power. Mm. We are just, we are harmless Kenyans. We don't have any weapons. Mm. So when you use the full force of the police with all the weapons, chances are very clear you are going to kill very many people. And as you kill very many people, some bigger brother somewhere are looking at you. And you will have to pay the price for all the people you are killing today because you have power. That's something that William Ruto should know. Because we are seeing what is happening in Kisumu, it's actually very painful. Where people masquerading as police officers, we don't know whether they are police officers or not. They are even raiding people's homes, beating women and children. That's something that should not be accepted. And if Ruto feels he wants to kill everybody, so be it. Mm. Be it. Life belongs to God. And it's only God who has the right to take away somebody's life. Mm. This is our country, and we cannot live as slaves in our country. When Ruto was campaigning for the presidency, he made so many promises to Kenyans, which is doing the exact opposite of what he said. Now, as Kenyans are now raising issues, what we are seeing are guns and bullets. That's not how to rule. That can only lead to anarchy. That can only lead to anarchy. And for some of us, we'll still speak out these issues without any fear. We'll still be speaking some of these issues. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you subscribe and... Uh, be prepared for our next analysis, where we are going to dissect the ICC threat that has now forced the government to start laying blame on the opposition. That is not us killing the people, it is the opposition. Another big lie, because Kenyans have videos and photos of exactly what's happening. We are seeing some rogue elements shooting Kenyans in broad daylight and then they are entering those land cruisers, police land cruisers, who are they? We are seeing individuals in civilians aiming their guns at innocent demonstrators. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. But even before I stop, we, there is a video we are working on, on uh, Moses Kuria. It's believed that Moses Kuria and other top government leaders have been banned from <laughs> entering United States of America. We are still, still doing a research on that so that we can bring you some verified information. Let's meet in our next analysis. And uh, to those watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. God bless you, God bless Kenya. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 <la
si mtu kujifanya asara wakati anataka kula kingia pala na geuka na kuwa dinas my friend that one we, we can't tolerate anymore so ruto wewe wewe chifanya kijo ngumu but at the end of the day utaumia zizi tutarudi the other side we pack up raira